Okay, so we're supposed to match these various equations with these different graphs. So again, I refer you to this right here, common functions, their equations, their names, and their graphs, all connected for you. This is the exam number one note, which is right at the top of the unit one module in our Canvas course shell. So yeah, let this help you out. So let's go to it then. So um, x to the third power, what does that look like? Let's go find it. x to the third, that looks like this snake thing here. Where do we see it? Now, not the sideways snake, not this one but the vertical snake, there it is, E. So that is X cubed. That one is X cubed, I'll put it up here. In fact, I think I'll just, yeah, I'm just gonna label it this way. So what, what is this one? This is square root of X. You look up on the uh, chart, you'll see it. See right there, square root of X. This is X, it's linear, straight line. This is cube root of X, sideways snake. Sideways snake, cube root of X. There it is, sideways snake. Okay, now both these going up. This is one over X squared, it's reciprocal squared. Okay, right here. Why? Because it goes, it's squared. It's x squared, which makes everything positive. So it's all going up. Makes everything positive because it's squared. So that's why it's all up. Whereas, um, well, I'll, I'll get to it. So this one's also all up. What's the V? What's the V all up? Well, see, it's absolute value. See that? And it's all up, it's it, because again, absolute value makes everything positive. So that's why it's all up. That's why the graph all goes up. There's nothing down below, there's nothing, there's nothing down here. The graph is all up. The next one is also up. What is that? That's X squared because X squared always makes everything positive also, just like absolute value does. There it is, squared, it's all up, okay. And then what is this? This is one over X. Some is, some is up, some is down because it can go either way. Let me show you. There it is. It's right here. One up, one down. Because one over X can go up and down depending on whether X is positive or negative. So there we go. Just use your exam one notes to help you identify those graphs.